Hey there and welcome to the shop. Today I'd like to show you Blue Demon's BD5000T cast iron TIG welding rod. Everybody knows that welding cast iron can be a challenge, but with BD5000 you can have the advantage at making those cast iron repairs. So this product, some of the key features of this product are minimal to no preheat. It can weld copper to steel or copper to stainless steel, and it contains no nickel, which makes it very affordable. This would be a great addition to any welder's toolbox. So as you know, there's two primary methods, at least that I'm familiar with, when welding cast iron. It's the hot method and the cold method. So since BD5000 is made for minimum, minimal to no preheat, we'll talk about the cold method second. So the hot method involves taking a part and heating it up the entire part, heating the entire part up. Say putting it in an oven or some type of oven or using a torch to heat the entire part up. Then you would make your weld um, if it takes a long time to make your weld, it's a large, a large bead needs to be applied. You might have to use a torch to keep your part saturated with heat. That, um, that helps the part not crack as easy. And then once you've finished your weld, you will take your small part about this size and you would put it in sand or wrap it in some type of uh, heat blanket. Uh, or a welding blanket. Um, some people have even put them in a uh, charcoal grill. You get your coals good and hot and you put your part on the grill if it's small enough and those those charcoals will keep your part hot and let the temperature come down really slowly over time. Reduces the uh, chances of cracking. Now with the cold method this is where BD5000 comes in. With your cold method you basically weld a little bit and then you let it cool. I did, uh, I would let it cool, cool enough to where I could put my hand on it and leave my hand there. So really cool. Um, during that process, I learned that 2% thoriated tungsten is definitely the way to go. I tried a couple of different tungstens. Did not work as well as the 2% thoriated uh, by far the best option to go with. Something else you're going to need is some whelps to cut those oxidized ends off. I noticed as uh, I would fire back up and if I use the oxidized end, the weld pool was a little sluggish and um, had a lot of stuff floating around in it, which is not good. So make sure you cut those ends off. Something else with the cold method is um, you'd want to peen a little bit. Painting is supposed to uh, let the weld stretch a little bit as it's still hot and it can, I, th I think it just elongates the weld a little bit while it's hot and relieves some of the pressure uh, of the shrinking metal as you're applying that, that massive amount of heat to melt the metal. Something else you're going to want is Blue Demon Ace Wipes. So these are 99% acetone industrial wipes and you would use them to clean all the oils that are applied to this product during the manufacturing. This can be used to also clean your tungsten and prep your, weld, your uh, base metal uh, for weld. So definitely want to have some of these on hand. Please keep in mind, the welding process has been sped up for filming purposes. I allowed plenty of time between each bead to allow for complete cooling. Also, I'm using a welder with a lift start arc. You may notice I initiate the arc with a nearly flat torch angle. I also tried to use the least amount of amps I could to make the weld pull. The cracking seemed to be much worse if I used a lot of amps. With cast iron, eliminating cracking is the primary challenge. To help with cracking, I ran each bead about a half inch in length 
this kept the heat input way down. So as you can see right here, this weld doesn't look the best, not what I'm usually used to with TIG welding steel or anything, but uh, cast iron is kind of a, a beast to weld at times. Um, I'm actually pretty pleased with this. It's got a little bit, a bit of a crown all the way down. Uh, if I, I took a flap wheel to this, I think it would grind really smooth and uh, would definitely be okay. With my test welds, I did notice some linear cracking that would go down the bead, but um, it was just due to overheating in my practicing. But this one here, this one turned out really great. Uh, welded a little bit, stop, let it cool, welded a little bit, stop, let it cool. And, uh, and I actually jumped around a little bit not to uh, put all the heat into one spot and move the heat across. I, I put heat in all over the place. So I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. I really appreciate you spending your time with me today and please remember Blue Demon for all your welding needs. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.